this is gonna be a game changer. It's totally gonna sit change the way we sail. Hi there, we're Bo and Brandy, and along with our salty dog, Una, we live here on our floating home, Sersha. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to take a second to hit the subscribe button to follow along. And a big thanks to all of our patrons. You truly make this production possible. We hope you enjoy this episode. Good morning, you guys. It's about eight in the morning. I'm just enjoying my coffee. And Bo said he was gonna jump in to check the anchor because it was making some noises. The anchor's up here. Currently, he's back here. He's no longer checking the anchor. He is 100% fishing. The uh, spear gun's right here on the deck. I think he's looking for more lionfish because we found some lionfish out by the anchor uh, a couple days ago. Last night I was up late organizing those tools just to try to actually save space. There's so many toolboxes of his and bags of his that he just has random stuff in it. I actually spent some time taking all the tools that were rusty and putting them in a thing of vinegar to get off the rust. Fun fact, if you guys didn't know that, after our crack in the hall, we got so many rusty like nails and bolts and things like that because they were in the area where the water hit and everything rusted up. So I put them in vinegar and they cleaned right up. So if you guys haven't done this, 100% do it. It's kind of therapeutic too. I put them in a mason jar last night and they were full and clean of clean, fresh, white distilled vinegar. And this morning it's black. What'd you catch? Conk. Conk. I didn't really catch it. I just grabbed it. <laughs> Anything else? A big snapper over there. So I'm gonna okay. take the gun and take a take the small dinghy. Okay. Anchor's good though. What's that? Anchor's good though. Yeah. Okay. We're clear. All right, you guys. I just popped downstairs and I wanted to show you this is not a jar of coffee. It's 100% the vinegar that I put in here last night with a bunch of rusty drill bits and this wire crimper. I'm just gonna be happy if I can open and close the wire crimper because before I couldn't. So hopefully that works. Clearly these guys need another round. I'm just gonna set them in here and then I'm gonna put this vinegar in it and let it sit and as long as I can. <laughs> they say 30 minutes, but I left these overnight and they clearly need more. I think I'm gonna put this guy back in there too. I can, I scraped it so I can see that it's gonna come clean, but it's already opening and closing way better than it was before I could never even try to do this. Been busy, huh? <laughs> Welcome to Brady's Sewing Factory. I also wear my sunglasses when I sew because the sun is like blasting me in my face. This project started with one little thing. I just needed to get one tool out of a bag and it was a mess. I started making these little pockets out of an old sail. We wanted to cut up this old sail and use it as, you know, have that spare material. But I'm just taking these bags and like putting Velcro on them. And I mean, as you can see, they are nothing fancy because I know they're gonna get destroyed anyways, but they just open up and this is all the drill bits all the drill bits and they just can organize better in these bags and the bags are pretty much falling apart too none of the zippers work anymore so i've made ties to where i can tie them hey they held up pretty good for being harbor free <laughs> and super cheap well i mean instead of like throwing them away and getting a whole new bags we know that these work and then i've been putting labels on them but I just was trying to condense everything to where we can get them in one little space. That's my project for today. We are actually, we're supposed to move today, but this happened and the boat's a must. So yeah, we didn't move, but that's okay. Cause you're editing. Yeah. <laughs> so we can get that done. <sighs> Back to work. <laughs> Day 
day two. Let's try this again. We are actually leaving today. Are you almost ready? Yeah. Head sails up. It's just going to be an easy downwind sail. Hoping this rain doesn't hit us. And yeah, let's get this party started. Got some laundry to do, shopping to do, and video editing to do. Boat projects to do. <laughs> Now that we're here back in Red Hook, this actually feels like our stomping grounds because we always seem to end up here. We've got to go into town and get some chores done. We need to take out the garbage, do some laundry, and pick up a very special package. busy today. Barely could find parking. Hopefully the laundromat's not that busy. But can't wait to get our package. Get our special package. Oh, I'm so excited for this one. Oh my gosh. You guys don't even know. This is gonna be a game changer. It's totally gonna sit change the way we sail. And actually we might be rusted. Are you excited? Rusted? We're gonna rusted. Be, oh, <laughs> I said rusted. Rusted, no excited. I'm super excited. Yeah. All right, hurry, open it, show them what it is. It's, such, it's been such an anticipation. Okay, are you guys ready? Any guesses what you think it is? We haven't had one, we've never had one. Everyone else that we know has one. And everybody says we're crazy because we <laughs> don't have one. Everyone says we're crazy because we don't have one. So pause now, comment below what you think it is, and go. And we're back. Am I building the anticipation for you? <laughs> oh, T-shirts! Just kidding. <laughs> Thanks, Billy and Sierra. So, you guys, our friends Billy and Sierra off of Tools Endless Summer have gifted us this because they have gone back to the States and they're on the hard. Actually, one of their viewers um, gifted it to them and they forwarded it over to us. And we want to thank Clark as well for this amazing gift. Um, oh. You ready? <laughs> All right, what is it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know what it is. Okay. Oh, careful. Okay. Oops. Looks like there's oh. a lot of pieces. Ah. <laughs> it's an autopilot. <laughs> it's our third crew member. Well, I mean, Una's our third crew member, but she doesn't have opposable thumbs and can't steer. So this is gonna be our newest crew member. Yeah. Hey, uh, I hope it's easy to install. Looks pretty simple. Yeah. There's some little parts in here I'm gonna take out. Yeah. Not much to it, huh? No, it looks pretty, pretty good. Yeah. 
I mean, I don't know anything about them. I don't know what they look like, but hey. I mean, we love to hand steer, so I can only see in the future we'll be still hand steering, but at night and things like that, when I wanna wake up Bo, I don't have to wake up Bo to go to the bathroom or in the morning to make coffee or take Una to the bathroom or whatever, maybe I can read a book. <laughs> well, I'll have to download the directions. It's a... Auto Helm ST3000. Wonder who makes it. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Oh gosh, huge game changer. Yes, now to get it installed. This is everything that came in the box. Not a lot to it. Very simple, should be easy to install. Last night I was going to install this whole system, but the direction said to place this guy behind the steering wheel or the helm. So I went to go take off the, the helm and couldn't get it off. It was so hard to get off, I had to create a puller. This is basically two plates, some bolts, and I had to use a huge butane torch. And after, you know, several hours of banging on it and pulling it and heating it, it finally came free. Hopefully that was the hardest part, getting this wheel off. We just have to drill a couple holes, do a little bit of wiring, and this thing should be installed within a couple hours. I think it's gonna take a lot longer to figure out how to use it, calibrate it, all that stuff. Pretty loose. I think these bushings are made for larger spokes. So I'll probably have to create something, maybe add us some tubing. Did you find our bushings? <laughs> yep. Some tubing. Just perfect size. Alright. It's pretty solid now. Get this guy mounted. He's gonna go right here. Oh wow, well, it takes up a lot of space. So there are no directions on this mounting clevis. Snack time. But let's put that on hold. Have some delicious celery and cream cheese. You made the mix. Some oh. sort of ranch. Oh yeah. A ranch cream cheese. Cream cheese with everything bagel. Spice on top. Yum. Draw these holes. Draw them or drill them? Drill them out. Do you say draw? Drill. Draw? Wire brushes. I need to brush the, <laughs> the wheel. You like my bags? I do. Your bags are very nice. <laughs> Recycle, reuse. Bits and bobs. <laughs> What, what's in here? Bits and bobs. What kind of bobs? Not what I expected. Surprise. <sighs> this is what I want. some assistance <laughs> this guy needs to be mounted two and a half feet away from our compass here so what you guys haven't seen is the 45 minute conversation on where we want this to be mounted Bo wants here and I want down there 
Decision's been made. We're mounting it behind that little motor. Hopefully we're making the right decision. We have no idea. If not, we can move it. It's busy. Yeah, today is really busy. So it started to rain, so we had to hastily pack everything up. That way we can get all the tools wet. But the install for the most part is done, at least from the mechanical side of things. Now I still have to run power to the little electrical unit. And I still gotta mount the little electrical unit too. Thankfully that's an inside job, so I can still keep working on this. The rain may have stopped us for now, but we are bound and determined to get it done tonight. Yes. It may be early tomorrow morning, but... It will get done. You about ready to try flipping this on? Sure. Eureka. Is it working? Turned on. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> <laughs> Just playing with it. All right. Now we just gotta calibrate it. Which means we need to move locations. Yes. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. Depends on if we can get all our chores done. <laughs> and it's two o'clock in the morning now. Is it? Uh huh. Jeez. Well, did it. Did it! Yay! the one to write up a song for just anyone I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations oh cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting but then you came along and proved me all wrong I was so mistaken cause you glue all the pieces back together yeah you you take all my wrongs and make them better good morning Today we are going to take the boat out motoring. I know you don't hear us say that a lot, but there is a reason behind it. So let's go outside and I'm gonna have Bo explain to you what's going on. We're trying to get out of here so we don't get waked by all these ferries. There's a lot of traffic that comes through here in Red Hook. It'll be nice to be moored up away from all this. Now that we got this guy installed, we have to calibrate it. It says to calibrate it in nice, calm, light conditions, but I don't think we're gonna get that here in the islands. So we're just gonna do the best that we can. We're thinking it's gonna be a lot calmer over by St. John. So we might even just wait to do the calibration over there. And then we have to make the largest list ever of all of the things that we have to get done before we leave for the south. We do have a very promising lead on our chain plate, so hopefully that comes through. We can get that soon. That's <sighs> another reason we're motoring as well. Right. And we have a full battery bank. It's been sunny. Yeah. Ready, Freddy? Time to go. <laughs> Motor's ready. You want me to come up? Yeah. One of the things on the list to do is to fix the bimini. It actually ripped a couple days ago. Been meaning to fix it. 
Um, I'm sewing some sunbrella on the top and putting a window in, but Una needed shade, so I fixed something up for her. It is way too rough out to be doing any calibration, so we're gonna have to do calibration when we get over there. Over there, yeah. Hopefully we have enough power to actually do it. I know, it's sucking up power big time. Yeah, because there's such a strong wind and current right now. So we would obviously be under sail typically, but we don't want to raise the main because we're not really sure what the whole chain plate issue would be and if it's strong enough. So we don't want to take that risk. And since we're heading to St. John, that means we are going to have to catch a mooring. We got to get out our mooring ball catcher. What do you call it? A boat hook. <laughs> so it's time to practice again. So we got to make sure that we have enough power to where at least we can skirt around the mooring ball a couple times if we need to. <laughs> practice, practice, practice. Practice makes perfect. We're on our way to Hawk's Nest over in St. John. The motor seems to be doing a lot better now because we're not throttling and de-throttling. We were doing a lot of that because we were in the way of a lot of traffic. So now that we're at a consistent speed, we're not burning up as much. So we should be okay on doing the calibration. Now that we're in St. John's Lee, we have calmer conditions. So we're gonna start the calibration, which is we're just doing a, a couple 360s that have to take at least three minutes. All right, start the 360. You ready? Yeah. All right, to the right and around? Yep. All right. Two minutes. All right, we hit the three minute mark. Nope, deviation's way too high. We'll have to do this again some other time. You did it! That was easy. We did it! It was easy? Yeah. Nothing to it. Nothing to it. I mean, especially with my expert helming. Uh. <laughs> this is a nice area. Check this out. Even though we weren't able to get this guy calibrated, we are in a new anchorage. We were getting a high deviation because I, th I think it's because our batteries are right below here. So I think if we move this guy up somewhere around up on this ledge here, we might have better luck. And then we'll have to go out in calmer conditions morning we got clear skies somewhat calm conditions we've been here in this bay for a couple days waiting for these primo conditions our temporary mounting solution so you think this place will be better yeah I think we're having too much interference with our batteries they're causing the compass to go to deviate I think it was like 50 degrees, which is a lot. We have to have it deviate less than 15 degrees and then it'll be ready. Think she'll hold? <laughs> I think it could be permanent for sure. Yes. Who needs brackets when you got duct tape? <laughs> All right, let's 
go do some circles. This is a pretty busy day anchorage for all the day charters. So we are risking losing our premium ball right now because we are getting blocked from a lot of the waves and the, the swell happening with this mountain. Actually, our friend right now, Ricky, is moving to another ball because her, she was out here and it was pretty rolly too. So let's hope that we can get this test done before people start rolling in. You ready, hon? Ready. All right, we're in our spot. Time to calibrate. You want to set the timer? Siri set timer for three minutes. Eleven. It works. It works. It works. It works. It works. <laughs> A huge, big surround sound. Thank you to our friends off of Tools in the Summer, Billy and Sierra, for passing this on to us. And also a huge thank you to Clark Rocher who passed it on to them in order for them to get it to us. We appreciate all of you guys. This is amazing. Sailing is never gonna be the same. Think of all the possibilities. Hmm.